He sees the world in a much more, I guess, extreme way. You know, he's lied to on a daily basis. He's threatened on a daily basis. Little Joe is a short form documentary series based on the real stories of a Lebanese debt collector from the western suburbs of Sydney. He's in confrontations on a daily basis, so his filtration system of good and bad and risk and safe environments is top level, it's very heightened, and I really wanted an audience to be able to experience what it's like to listen to one of Joe's stories. He has a unique view and a unique vision of the world that most of us would barely scratch the surface of. It's a tricky game. There's no set protocol, Dave. Every job is unique and different. It's ever changing. You gotta change with it. You gotta know how to adapt. You gotta be quick, fast. Or crazy like myself, one of the three. We secured our contract with the broadcaster uh, late October, early November 2018. So we had to start shooting very quickly. I think we had a two week pre-production period and then we shot our master interviews after that. Jonathan May was our DOP. He's a very accomplished commercial stills photographer who's sort of bridging the gap into, into video and filming. And I knew because of the way I'd seen him light before that Having him shoot for my master shot, for the interview shot, w would be great. It, it didn't involve a lot of technical um, camera movement uh, or technical camera skill, I guess. It involved lighting. The whole objective for me directing this was the purest form of storytelling that I could capture. I only really want people to, to, to see things when they need to see things that aren't Joe. We don't need B-roll for the sake of B-roll. We need B-roll when it's gonna augment what's happening in our, in our narrative. I really wanted the B-roll to be like a thought track, similar to if you were being told a story where your mind might wander to, but you're gonna come back to the person who's standing in front of you telling the story. When I set out to make Little Joe, I really thought about the documentary series that I love and um, the ones that inspire me and where I wanted Little Joe to sit in that world. Looking at things like making a murderer or the jinx, you see a bankable asset there. It's not just for the passion of it and, you know, this story must be told. Well, broadcasters are recognising that, that that story that must be told actually has a value to it as well. Finding Little Dot was fantastic because that's, that's the type of thing they're into. They're into short form documentary and um, this is actually the first short form documentary series they've commissioned. Little Dot Studios is a UK based production and broadcasting agency. It's a new kind of agency which distributes broadcasts through their online platforms. We haven't seen an overseas online production agency putting actual production money into the budget for an Australian series. It's very exciting to see Little Joe going straight to YouTube on their YouTube channel Real Stories with 2.5 million subscribers. This particular model and pathway to an Australian and international audience is quite unique and very exciting for us. I did this guy's compo case, which is in relation to his back injury. And I say, Joe, here's his address, here's a description, here's what he states he can and can't do due to his injuries. And if I did catch him out, I had to get him on tape. If I did get him on tape, I had to present it in court and break the bad news. You're a fraud, buddy. Stop wasting the insurance company's time. Get the f out of here. The best piece of advice I'd have for documentary makers, besides really locking down your access in a, in a really big way to your subject, would be taking the subject's trust and the trust that they place in you very seriously. You know, They're letting you into their life and they're exposing themselves to you and you're basically the guardian of that. And you need to make sure that that person who's about to be exposed to the world is comfortable because um, if they're not, it just comes back to you. You can see Little Joe on Real Stories on YouTube. I hope audiences take away pretty much exactly what it felt like uh, for me to hear these stories for the first time. And um, I hope that they get an insight into a world that they live in but aren't really aware exists.